Hey, welcome back to Bears Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech using the iPad. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I use um, the iPad to provide student feedback. So here we are, here's my um, iPad. I have gone just straight to the Google Classroom app here, okay? I'm using the app, I'm not using the web uh, browser. So I'm gonna go to my Google Classroom and then I'm gonna select the assignment that I wanna grade. The student has submitted two um, pictures here, okay? Two files where they've taken the, their photo of their work. So I'm gonna just quickly show you one. So uh, there's this one here. The student just taken a picture and they've uploaded it uh, to the classroom, okay? Now, I've already graded this page, so I'm gonna go ahead and grade the next page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I've just prepared my answers, so I know, I know what I'm looking for. Um, here's my answers on a post-it, and I'm just gonna be uh, grading this work now. So what I need to do is I need to go over here on the iPad, and I wanna click on this pencil. That's gonna load this up so I can have these editing tools, okay? I like to go with, I've, I've noticed that if I use like a green or a red, uh, it doesn't really, let me show you anyway. So if I use a red pen or a green pen, um, then it, it might not show up really clearly. This is okay, I think. So I'm gonna say great diagram. Great diagram. Okay, my, my handwriting's never been the best, but anyway, let's go ahead and start grading this. I think the green's okay for now. Let me just continue with this green. So the students labeled everything, and I love that because now it make, makes my life easy to um, to mark this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, this is actually someone's real work. Okay, so I haven't made this as a demo. This is someone's real work, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna add these uh, lines here just to indicate to the student that they're all the same. They've labeled it anyway. So I'm gonna say good. So you've got your four A's, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got B and B up to here. So I can give that two lines there. Okay, you've got your two B's, excellent. And then you've got your C's. So you can see I'm annotating on the document and then you've got your two C's here, brilliant. They've collected the like terms and I can say that is fantastic right there, okay? It's all great. Um, uh, one thing is that they've used uppercase here and they've used lowercase, so, so consistency, consistency here is um, use the same notation. But it's brilliant nonetheless, okay, it's fantastic. Let's go ahead and continue with the grading. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just marking as I'm going through. This is in editing mode. I can go ahead and save from here. I don't wanna save it right now because if I do save it, the annotations are flattened into the document, into this PDF, and um, I can't edit them anymore. For right right now, if I, you know, as long as I don't save these, so I don't flatten the annotations in the PDF, what I can do is I can go down to the erase button and I could come up here and I could just erase something I could erase anything that I wanted to really, okay? Because it's not flattened into the PDF at this moment. So I'm gonna go back and uh, take that again. I can undo from the top. Okay, you can see an undo and a redo button. If I undo something, I could go ahead and, so it basically undone one of the check marks and then I could redo it. So if I press redo here, I'll show you. It's gonna bring back that check mark. Anyway, let's continue to mark this. Uh, di well, I'll finish off marking the diagram. Uh, let me show you what happens once I'm, I'm finished, okay? So here I've got another uh, question here using Pythagoras, okay? Uh, excellent, okay, brilliant. And we've ended up getting the 5A. Let's just see this working out. This is fantastic. 5A, and then they've done the sum here, and that's perfect to the yeah? Just gonna swipe here, perfect. Okay, this is 10 out of 10. Not that the grade means anything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna show you the next part. Now I've marked two documents. I wanna give some feedback, written feedback as well to the student, okay? So the student's not gonna immediately see this. They're gonna to have to go into these two documents to go ahead and see um, the annotations, the feedback that I've given them. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna click on add a private comment, okay? And I've just got my floating um, uh, keyboard here. Don't worry about where I've got the floating, floating keyboard. If I pinch this, it will go into the full keyboard. I'm just gonna pinch it again, okay? 
Now, what I'm going to do for my feedback is I know what I want to say to the student because I've just reviewed their work, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to type because I'm writing with, you know, I don't want to put on the magic keyboard now and then start typing away. So here's, here's a tip, okay? Here's a power tip. You can just dictate because you know what you want to say to your students. So go ahead and dictate. The dictation is going to give a transcript of what I'm saying. So this is what I'm going to say. Hi Katie, thanks for submitting your work. It was wonderful to see your diagrams and how you annotated all the lengths on your diagram. Awesome work, very clear and precise for me to follow through. Uh, keep up the good work. Okay, sometimes your spoken word and your written text uh, needs to be adjusted, okay? So I did say for me to follow, but it should be precise to follow through. And then full stop, I'll do a period here. Uh, and then it says keep up the good work keep up the good work and i'm going to just say finish that off there what i do like to do as well is go to the end and then just type in smile and it gives me this suggested emoji and i'm going to put that okay so that's how i will give feedback i could annotate uh, the documents that they send okay and then i'll use dictate to give um some verbal feedback of course it translates it into a transcript and i can send that as a private comment i hope that helps out if you did find it helpful give me a thumbs up consider subscribing for more edtech videos and as always i'll see you in the next one